When it comes to comfort food, this one's up there. It's simple to make, satisfying to eat, and makes the perfect finale to an autumn barbecue. The leaves are turning from green to golden brown, then gently, gently falling down. My lawn gets covered this time of year, and yes, my friends, autumn is here. You don't know I was a poet, did you? This could be my last cookout of the season, before my Weber queue is tucked up in the garage for winter. It's quite chilly today. But, but apart from that, it's not too bad. So I'm rolling up my sleeves to show you how to make a dessert that can only be described as a winter warmer. First, fire up the Weber Q and let it warm up. So, to the ingredients. I have a couple of 250 gram packs of blueberries into the bowl. Next, one tablespoon of golden caster sugar. Then, one and a half teaspoons of corn flour. Finally, the zest of half a lemon. Give it all a good swirl around to coat the blueberries. I'm cooking in this enamel dish. Tip in the coated blueberries and smooth out. Finally, add the juice from half a lemon. Now for the topping. To a bowl, Add 100 grams of plain flour. Then 50 grams of golden caster sugar. Followed by 1 teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of fine salt. Give it all a quick stir to make sure it's evenly mixed. And now 45 grams of unsalted butter, cubed and chilled. With your fingertips, rub in the butter and keep rubbing until the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. With a wooden spoon, I'm going to mix in 75 ml of double cream. This is extra thick double cream, which doesn't want to leave my measuring jug. Being extra thick, the mixing is going to be a little bit more difficult. Here is one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste and it's not in slow motion. With that wooden spoon, get mixing. Did I say it wouldn't be easy? Keep mixing and you'll get there. You may need to loosen the mixture with a little milk. Scrape the excess off the wooden spoon. Don't want to waste any. With a couple of teaspoons, blob the mixture over the blueberries until they're almost covered. Some of the blueberries should still be visible and look something like this. Keep blobbing until all the mixture is used up. My Weber Q is up to 200 degrees C and that's hot enough. I'm putting down a heat shield and grid for indirect cooking and on goes the cobbler. Close the lid and cook for about 35 to 45 minutes. Ah, oh, that smell. It makes you feel warm and cosy. 
And that is my blueberry cobbler. That's just the dessert for a chilly autumn day. If you'd like to know more about it, or my webacue, or any of my videos, all you have to do is click that button. Don't forget to activate and ding the bell, and if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Now, here's the recipe recap. And so to plate up a few generous spoons of the cobbler with warm blueberries oozing thick delicious juice accompanied by extra thick double cream. You can also have ice cream or custard. I'll stick with a cream. It's such a shame you can't taste it. It's warming, it's sweet, it's amazing and delicious. You can cook this cobbler just as easily in the oven than on the barbecue. Do try it at home. You'll thank me for it. And on that note, from me, the old geezer at the grill, 
it's goodbye thanks for watching and i'll see you soon